morning. Today I'm going to show you a couple of dishes we're going to do with lamb. And uh, what I'm going to do first is look at this rack of lamb. And this is a great thing to do for a dinner party because a rack of lamb is a nice, elegant dish. So we're going to get three portions off here. But don't forget, this end is a little bit uh, thinner than this end. It's got all this fatty bit. So you want to kind of get your chop about there. One, two, three. All right. So after you measured it off, go down along that bone. There's one nice portion. And then these are going to be a little bit shorter and fatter. But they're going to also be nice portions. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to show you. I trimmed this one up for you. OK, this is on the leaner end. So you've got quite a bit of fat here. I cut this one down further. If you want your portions to look a bit bigger and if people like to chew on that fatty stuff, that's cool. If not, you can trim it all the way down so all you have is this meat. And then you want to um, score your fat. All right, so I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. Just trim away a little bit, but don't all, take it all the way down because you want that fat to protect your meat during the cooking and you want to get a bit of crispy stuff going on there, which is what we always like, that textural contrast between a bit of crispy skin and the nice tender meat underneath. Okay, so that's what it should look like. So now what I want to show you is how to do this in advance. Because one thing, like look, I'm working with this meat and it's quite smelly, you know? You want to have a dinner party and you, you smell like lamb? No. So you get it ready in advance. And then at the last minute, I mean, you're still going to have some cooking smells, but basically at the last minute, you warm it up. All right, so I'm going to show you how far you want to cook this. So again, don't start it on a really hot pan, just like the duck. Start it on a sort of medium heat or cold pan even. Season well before you cook, right? Just put it down on that fatty side. And what we're going to do, just like we did with the duck, we're going to melt down some of that fat on a more or less medium heat. We're going to cook this for about five minutes, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. And then we're going to cool it down and then chill it down and it's going to be like, you know, in the fridge. In the morning you do this, you get all the smelly bits, you take a shower, you get dressed up and then you're just going to bang it in the oven two minutes before you serve. I'm going to show you a beautiful sauce that we're going to make with sorrel. Sorrel, you probably know it, I don't know. It's like a, it looks like spinach but it's quite uh, you know, it's a particular flavor, a little bit lemony, but not quite lemony. Anyway, I'm going to show you that. We're just going to wilt it down and then pour some stock on it. And I'm going to finish it off with a bit of mint, like very nice sauce. Okay? All right. So you see we're getting a little bit crispy. I'm going to pour off some of that oil. Then I'm just, no, I'll keep it on the skin. I'm just going to throw it in the oven just like that. Top shelf, hot oven, always hot, remember? Where's my timer? I think it's going to take about 10 minutes, and then we're going to chill it down, and then two or three minutes to warm it up, okay? Okay, see, it's like quite rare. You don't want to serve it like this, but we're going to take it out of the heat, cool it down, and then chill it down in the fridge, and then... We're going to warm it up right before we serve it. And then all you have to do is slice down the middle and pour on your sauce and your stuff and you're ready to go. So you see how nice that looks for one portion? All right, so I'll chill that down and I'll show you later how we're going to serve it. We're going to make the sorrel sauce, okay? So this is the sorrel. I've taken off the leaves and I'm just going to slice it a bit. Now don't get your pan too hot because we don't want to burn this. We just want to wilt it slightly in a bit of butter. You want a bit of salt to break that down. Now this is super easy. All you're going to do 
is wilt that sorrel. You see how it's turning a different color, so you're not going to have that light green color. So this we're going to make a little bit in advance. So in the morning, if you like, you can start this. Now we're going to put some stock on it. So some veal stock. So I've been checking out the veal stock situation, and it's not good news, guys. It's all rubbish, what I've found anyway. So we're going to make you some veal stock, and we're going to sell it from the restaurant. There's our sauce. You could have made that to this point before. Here's our lamb, nice and uh, soft. Two minutes heating that up is going to be perfect. OK, in the oven. I got a little bit of gratin going in there. I'll show you how to make that another day. I'm going to do this with a bit of uh, mange too. I'm just going to heat that up. Sorrel sauce, moving a little bit fast now. I'm going to put a bit of cream. You don't have to put too much. OK, now I'm going to show you one thing. If you like this, one thing that you can do with this sauce is you can make a sorrel butter. So what you can do is chop this up a bit. This is, this is uh, more sorrel, right? So you can wilt this and put it with butter. And then you can even put the butter in the freezer and just put it in your sauce at the end. In this sorrel sauce, we're going to finish it off with three little leaves of mint. Nicely, finely sizzled with a little knob of butter. OK. So we've got some beans. I mean, most too. <laughs> Voila. There's my lamb, nice and pink. And you know, if you didn't want to get messy, you could even serve it like this. Put your sauce on top and serve it with some nice steak knives. I'm just going to slice it in two. Look, it's perfectly pink. Perfect, OK? You see what I mean? And it's rested. It's all expanded. It's absolutely perfect, which is what I really like, is perfect stuff. So I'm going to do it with a bit of gratin dauphinoise, which is always great with lamb. Yummy, yum. Put your lamb up there and your beans on this side. And now for my beautiful sauce. OK, you see how easy this is. This is all you're going to do during your dinner party. Just plate it up just like that. And look at this gorgeous sauce, just on the meat. You've still got some crispy, crispy um, bits on the other side of the lamb. So put your sauce on the cut side. OK, the color of that is a bit pale. So you can put a bit of, sorry, this is a bit, put a bit of brighter green on top. And a bit of uh, joli joli. Voila. OK, there you go. Lamb with sorrel sauce, gratin dauphinoise, and uh, mange too. Great dish for a dinner party. Very elegant, beautiful. Can I taste it? Great. That little bit of mint is very fresh at the end. And you have that lemony underneath of the sorrel. It's really well. Don't overdo it on the mint, because it really comes through very brightly. Let's say, maybe that's a bit too much. I would say two leaves of mint for each one. OK. Now I'm going to show you how to do the cheater's version of that sauce. OK, now here is what you can do if you have some extra sorrel. We're going to wilt it in the butter, just like I showed you bit of salt, just wilt it a little bit. All you want to do is just wilt it down until the color changes, and that's it, really. You don't really want to cook it very much. OK, now you want to take this and just mix it with butter. I'd say like a half of a block of butter. You put your butter in there. You can like blend it with the butter. And then you have this sorrel butter. And what you do, you just do your reduction and cream and put a knob of this sorrel butter in and then a little bit of mint, uh, chopped up mints at the end. And that gives you, you know, not exactly the same result, obviously, but it gives you a quite a good result. 
for you know a last minute kind of sauce. So that's that's it. Cheater's version. Thank you.